Hey, how you doing? Sean Matson here. I want to talk to you guys about the S-Lift. So this right here is one of our first products we ever came out with over 10 years ago now. And it's still probably one of our most popular products and most requested products that we get from units out there. This product is dual purpose, so it can be used as a bag first, and then if you need it, it can be used as a soft stretcher. This right here only weighs 10 ounces and can carry up to 400 pounds. As you can see here, it comes vacuum sealed tight so you can fit it right into your cargo pocket or stow easily in a bag. Once you pull it out of the vacuum sealed bag, it's set up in a bag configuration like this. This right here is perfect for sensitive site exploitation, SSE, or a casualty collection bag. It has a single shoulder strap here to allow the operator to throw it over quickly so they can still manipulate their weapon. If there were a casualty on the battlefield, you can quickly unzip this to now make a six and a half foot stretcher. We talk about how our combat carbon poles are the backbone of the lift system. These poles go right into this S lift to now make a six and a half foot semi rigid stretcher that only weighs three and a half pounds. Again, this will carry 400 pounds. If you have any questions about the S lift or any other products within the lift system, go check out mapbox.com or email us at sales at mapbox.com. Hey everybody, so you just heard me talk about the S lift and all the amazing features that we have with the S lift, but the guys just also asked me if I would go into where the S lift came from. So the S lift was born in the Iraq war during direct action missions. On a particular night that we were on a mission, uh, we had a down partner force member and we had to carry him out in a rug and a chain link fence. On my flight home that night, I immediately started thinking through the events and how we could have done that better. And the first thing that I thought of was we were already carrying a bag for sensitive site exploitation. And so why couldn't we take that bag and create a litter out of it? So in my mind, I had this bag that had a zipper run down the side and down the bottom and that is now what is the s lift this product right here came directly from those missions in iraq and then went into afghanistan with the guys there and it's been one of our top selling products that we continue to sell now 10 years later because of how multi-purpose this product is how lightweight it is and ultimately the versatility guys tell us um, guys are even using this as an ex uh, emergency hammock if they needed to, or to help them build some kind of lean-to shelters. So just wanted to give you guys that quick background about the S-Lift, and we appreciate all the support. Thank you.